included options for every type of consumer. So if you're looking for a budget graphics card for an entry-level PC or a more powerful card that can run 4K games at 60 frames per second, we'll have the product for you. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description below. Okay, so let's get started with the video. The fifth product on our list is the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1660 Ti. This is our best budget graphics card. Graphics cards, much like everything else on a desktop, come in a wide range of variations, specs, and most notably, price. If you're building an entry-level PC and want a great budget GPU, then take a look at this GeForce GTX 1660 Ti by Gigabyte. This GeForce GTX 1660 Ti is a solid contender in the entry-level GPU market. Gigabyte's take on the 1660 Ti includes a higher clock rate than the original, a more flexible power ceiling, an extra-large fan, and some RGB lighting. Thanks to the graphics card's big heatsink and the WindForce 2 times thermal solution, the GPU continually operates at low temperatures even at a moderate load because of its intelligent design. The fans are programmed to stay off until the internal temperature hits 140 degrees Fahrenheit. That means you'll rarely be faced with loud fan noise unless you start pushing the card to its limits. This temperature control allows you to play games like Overwatch at 1080p without a stutter, hitting over 140 frames per second and only using the fans at 65% of their capable speed. Even raising the quality to 1440p is manageable with this chipset, once more proving this GPU's capability. The key features are value. It's an extremely competent GPU for this price point. Lighting. Some RGB lighting adds to the design of the graphics card and helps it stand out inside your gaming rig. Performance. Excellent performance at 1080p and respectable at 1440p for some titles, reaching great frame rates for less demanding games. Cooling. A large heatsink and twin fans alongside intelligent thermal control keeps this GPU cool and quiet. If you're trying to find the best budget graphics card on the market today, the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1660 Ti makes a compelling case with its performance, cooling, and inexpensive price tag. The fourth product on our list is the MSI GeForce RTX 3060 Ti. This is our best value graphics card. If you're looking for a graphics card that packs in a lot of performance for its price, then MSI might have the answer for you. MSI was on a mission when they put their touches on NVIDIA's RTX 3060 Ti. They improved upon the design without boosting the price. The result is a premium GPU at an affordable price. When comparing the original 3060 Ti to MSI's reworking of it, the first thing you're bound to notice is the addition of a third fan. MSI completely gutted and remade the cooling system for this GPU, and it's a huge win for consumers. The Zero Frozer fans completely stop when temperatures reach a certain threshold, effectively eliminating all noise when active cooling is unneeded. The fans will automatically start spinning again when the heat is on during gaming. On the back, they included a lightweight composite graphene backplate that reinforces the length of the graphics card while providing passive thermal conduction properties. For the GPU itself, MSI kept NVIDIA's patented Ampere architecture and uses advanced second-generation ray tracing cores and third-generation tensor cores to crank up your gaming from good to great, making 1080p and 1440p gaming a breeze. Artificial intelligence boosts frame rates and improves image quality using the dedicated AI processing tensor cores on the GeForce RTX. If you're looking for a great graphics card for 4K gaming, check out the ASUS GeForce RTX 2070 Super coming up next. The key features are value. You get premium performance without the premium price. Power. Great stability when overclocking helps it rival even more powerful GPUs. Performance. Artificial intelligence maximizes the second-gen ray tracing cores and third-gen tensor cores. Zero Frozer Fan Cooling. Fans run dead quiet and adjust automatically based on your usage. Game ready. Comes overclocked out of the box. Overall, the MSI GeForce RTX 3060 Ti is a premium GPU capable of comfortable 1440p gaming at an incredibly reasonable price. The power, performance, and cooling capabilities make this a great value purchase for a graphics card. The third product on our list is the ASUS GeForce RTX 2070 Super. This is a great value graphics card for 4K gaming. The ASUS Dual GeForce RTX 2070 Super Evo OC Edition provides a ton of bang for your buck, but this GPU does it with 4K and some overclocking. ASUS went out and made an aftermarket upgrade to the RTX 2070 Super and it adds an extra bit of oomph. The cooler is massive and does an excellent job of keeping temperatures low. The GPU uses an onboard controller to monitor and stop the fans when the core drops below the threshold of 130 degrees Fahrenheit. This lets you enjoy some light gaming in relative silence. Performance-wise, you essentially get an RTX 2080 for the price of a 2070 thanks to the overclocking capability that ASUS added in. NVIDIA's inclusion of tensor cores means that this GPU is essentially future-proof as the rest of the industry continues to catch up. This graphics card offers fairly decent 60Hz gaming at 4K with a wonderfully low price point, and we need to tip our hats to ASUS and NVIDIA for that feat. When you lower the settings to 1440p, the frame rate skyrockets and you can play even the most demanding AAA games without the GPU putting up a fuss. Games like Far Cry 5 and Assassin's Creed Valhalla look gorgeous, and it's all thanks to the work that NVIDIA and ASUS put in. The key features are value. You get superb performance for the price. Power. Great stability when overclocking helps it rival even more powerful GPUs. 
Performance offers decent 4K gameplay at 60 Hz and high refresh rates at 1440p. Cooling, triple axial tech 0 dB fans increase airflow through the heatsink and boasts IP5X dust resistance. All in all, the Asus Dual GeForce RTX 2070 Super Evo OC Edition doesn't come at the same rock bottom price as the 1660 Ti, but its 4K capability and overclocking means that it still represents exceptional value for high-end gaming. If you're looking for a great GPU without the sting of paying a scalper for a 3080, then this might be the graphics card for you. The second product on our list is the Gigabyte AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT. This is our best graphics card for most people. If you're looking for a graphics card that hits the sweet spot with solid GPU performance, excellent cooling, and a reasonable price, the Gigabyte hits all those marks with their AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT. Taking the graphics card out of the box, there are a few things you'll notice immediately. The triple fan setup and the sleek black design make the 5700 XT stand out. There's a bit of RGB lighting as well, adding to the GPU's overall aesthetic. The three fans in the heat sinks do wonders for cooling the GPU. The center fan spins counterintuitively from the left and right fans in order to maximize airflow throughout the unit without getting excessively noisy. Gaming is a breeze at 1080p with the Gigabyte AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT. It will have no problem reaching an admirable number of frames per second, ranging from most games like Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Forza Horizon 4 on ultra settings to a respectable 55 plus in GPU, killing games like Metro Exodus. When it comes to 4K gaming, it can struggle with choppy frame rates and power requirements. The key features are cooling. The Windforce three times cooler uses three fans spinning at 2000 RPM to ensure efficient cooling throughout the GPU. Unique blade fan. The airflow is split by the triangular fan edge and the 3D active fan provides semi-passive cooling. Performance. Solid performance and a bit of overclocking makes it ideal for most gamers, though 4K performance is hit or miss. Design. Sleek black design with three fans and some RGB makes this GPU look futuristic. For most gamers, Gigabyte's AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT accomplishes everything required for their graphics card. Reliable frame rates at 1080p, great cooling, and an affordable price make the 5700 XT the best fit for most gamers. If you're looking for even more power, then stay tuned for the RTX 3080 coming up next. The first product on our list is the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080. This is our best overall graphics card. If you're looking for top performance, NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 3080 makes a case for one of the best graphics cards around. It's been in high demand ever since its initial release. There's a reason why the RTX 3080 is such a commodity. It delivers true 4K graphics at over 60 frames per second without breaking the bank. For the longest time, 4K gaming was a pipe dream as reliable frame rates were rare unless you were willing to pay a hefty premium. The RTX 3080 changed that, and that's great for gamers with NVIDIA's older flagship more accessible for the mainstream market. You'll be running just about everything, including Final Fantasy XIV, running anywhere from 75 to 100 frames per second at 4K, and that's at maximum graphic settings. Plus Control will look awesome with some stunning particle effects. The upcoming games will have some heavy performance requirements, and the RTX 3080 is next-gen ready with more powerful GPUs than the PS5 or Xbox Series X. They even went so far as to improve upon their cooling system. The 3080 takes advantage of two fans that spin in opposite directions. These fans help pull air through the radiator much better than previous generations, and they do so quietly. The key features are speed, literally one of the fastest graphics cards available to purchase. Graphics, delivers true 4K graphics at 60 plus frames per second. Cooling, two fans that spin in opposite directions help pull air through the radiator better and reduce noise. Next Gen Ready, with significantly more performance than its previous iteration. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 is one of the industry-leading graphics cards for avid gamers looking for great 4K gaming at or close to 60 frames per second. It is expensive, but with the heavy demands of next-gen games, which the RTX 3080 will be more than able to handle, it's really more of an investment. If you're a gamer, you'll probably want to hear this. Have you ever seen a guy who's really good at video games? He's probably not more talented at the game or practice more. He probably just has a good gaming chair. Specifically, the on-target gaming chair. In all seriousness, the on-target gaming chair brings high-end comfort and performance to stylish and sleek classic gaming chair designs. Not all gaming chairs are made equal. You'll see a lot on Amazon that claim to be comfortable or claim to have a built-in massage function, but when you spend the money, all you end up paying for is back pain and a chair that randomly vibrates a bit. On-target gaming focused on what really matters, the comfort, using high-end materials, a footrest that's actually comfortable and steady, and a sleek, stylish, classic design that you'll love. The best part is it's more affordable than you may think, easy to assemble, and built to be the last gaming chair you'll need. If you're a gamer, you probably spend quite a bit of time in your gaming chair. You may as well invest in a gaming chair that actually helps you feel good while you game. Your back and your KD will thank you. Links in the top of the description. Thanks for watching and that's all for this video. If you liked this video and it helped you out in any way, please give the video a like and hit that subscribe button. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time, I'll see you later.